You want to be big, you lift big weights. You want to be little, you lift little weights. Some days it's just one of those days, it's a tough day and you're just mad and you do more and more. My delts are still burning right now. They feel like they're on fire. I lift weights to be big. do some rotator cuff exercises. Um, I think that's one of the main reasons I've never uh, suffered a rotator cuff injury. Um, I always, pretty much before every workout, if I'm doing any upper body workout, I do ro rotator cuff exercises, I do some light stretching, and then, you know, we go light, you know, to get good and warmed up, and uh, you know, days like today, I have three layers of clothes on, you know, so you make sure you get some, get some heat and get some blood in the muscle before you start uh, going heavy. And uh, today, we, you know, we warmed up pretty quick sometimes. Even the time we get to presses, we're not warmed up, so we do two or three more light sets before we start you know, going up in weight. Me and Johnny both like doing rear delts first like that. So when we start doing our heavy presses, you know, you're already warmed up, got some blood in the muscle, and it's a lot easier. We did a rear delts first, get warmed up good, and then we uh, can do our heavy presses. Isolate any one part of the delt, but you know, you can focus on it. And uh, you know, having a fully developed uh, delt, you don't want to look good just from the front, but you want to look good from the front, the side, and the rear. You know, and so your rear delts also play a part, you know, when you hit your back double biceps and your last spreads. Front and side delts are probably the most important part of your delts, not the rear delts aren't. But uh, you know, front delts, when you're standing to the front, you know, you're doing your, all your front shots, even your side shots, man. You know, you want that good capped, you know, off to your delts. Your front delt is um, probably the strongest part of your delts. That's what you're primarily using when you're doing presses, front raises, you know, even when you're doing chest, you use a lot of front delts. And you know, I do a lot, of, a lot of work for the front delt to, you know, totally fatigue it. So uh, we start off with the front delt and trash it out. I usually lead the workout, so uh, I just go. If I didn't get enough out of it, I do another one. Sometimes we come back and um, we do drop sets on military. Sometimes work up to our heavy weight, then we might do two or three sets with the heavy weight. You know, last week I think me and Johnny we worked up to 365 and did a drop set on the second set. So uh, it just you know we just go by feel. Some days it's just one of those days. It's a f day, and you're just mad, and you do more and more. Nothing is set in stone. You know, if I, I get through and I need to do more, I do more. You know, I usually have a I idea in my mind what I'm going to shoot for, you know, and sometimes you get it and you go back and you say, I need to do more, you know, I just don't feel like I had enough, so we'll come back and do a drop set. What we did today is very typical. You know, we change some of the exercises up a little bit, but I don't change up that much. There's certain exercises we pretty much do every week. You know, my back workout, delt workout, chest workouts have kind of been the same for years. And every now and then we'll change up the reps a little bit or, you know, we'll order, but we kind of keep it the same. Last week it was just me and Johnny on uh, delts. You know, Matt wasn't here, he's out of town. So uh, even he made a comment, man, he said, we're getting a lot more rest this week because you know, we had a, another person here. So, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if it's one person, two people, you know, we never have more than three people. It's just it's one, one person goes, the next goes. And so you just keep the intensity up, you know. We don't, uh, when you do it like that, you don't, you don't bull around, you stay focused. And when the person in front of you gets finished, you're strapped up and ready to go. I 
I always like to do my heavy stuff at the beginning of the workout. You know, usually there's some exceptions. I don't do four, five, six reps on hardly anything anymore just because, you know, the amount of weight I have to move to, to go to failure at that is just uh, not worth it at this point. You know, the risk I weigh the benefits. You know, when I was younger, I would do super heavy weights, you know. I can do four or five on presses, but, you know, I'm not going to do 10 reps with it. At this point, you know, doing that a little bit extra weight doesn't outweigh the risk of doing it, you know. So I uh, don't want any more injuries, so uh, I got a little bit lighter weight. Today's a good day. I'm three weeks out, and, uh, you know, my strength was uh, holding up pretty good still. You know, I back off the last week, but uh, I lift weights to be big. So you want to be big, you lift big weights. You want to be little, you lift little weights. People think that uh, bodybuilding is all about being in here in the gym. And really and truly, about 25% of being a bodybuilder is here in the gym. You know, you spend the most a couple hours a day in here. So the other 22 hours of the day, you're not in here. And so the most important part and the biggest part of being a bodybuilder is nutrition. Nutrition includes supplementation, vitamins, minerals, proteins, because if you don't have the proper nutrients in your body, you're not gonna grow. It doesn't matter how hard you train in here, you're never gonna realize the results and get the results you wanted if you don't supplement and eat properly. If you're looking to be a competitive bodybuilder and be a champion, it's essential. One of the best things about Muscle Tech is, you know, they're on the cutting edge of a product development. They're always coming out with new products. They have a research and development team that they always uh, come out with some of the newest and the best products that uh, keep us on the cutting edge of the supplement industry. Being a member of Team Muscle Tech and one of the top athletes, uh, you know, we get to try the products before the general public does, so it uh, you know, definitely gives us an edge in our contest preparation, so it's a very cool hydroxy stem. It's a great pre-workout supplement. I take it before my workouts. It has a incredible thermogenic effects, you know, which help you burn body fat. So it's uh, something I definitely started using before I compete and uh, got great results with it. It's the first competition I've used it for and uh, I'm in the best con condition of my life at three weeks out. So it's been a, definitely a great training aid for uh, my preparation for the defend my title through 2012 Arnold. Also during the workouts, you know, it helps me stay focused on this, you know, through some of these grueling workouts that we do. You can see kind of the intensity and how hard we train, you know, so you're, you're totally depleted when you get through with this. Natural tech right after the workout, that's something I've done instinctively for you know years because you definitely need protein there's a period of time after your workouts your body's very receptive to protein so um, i always have done that for years and then with some of these great products that muscle tech has come up with in the, the past decade like mile build uh, that's something to that help speed up your recovery process i definitely noticed a big difference in my recovery after the workouts it's something i've incorporated using you know this year for my preparation for the 2012 Arnold classic it's essential and the guys that don't do that you're missing an opportunity and a window to you know, get some good growth <laughs> We did side raises after I think front delts, then uh, you know, we did a drop set on that, then we came back and did a rep set. After that we finished up with the standing presses, overhead presses with the upright rows. Sometimes we do this, probably about every other week, we we'll finish up like that because uh, the stack is real heavy. You go to failure on that, then you superset it with the upright rows, it just totally blows them out. My delts are still burning right now, that's why I keep shifting positions because they feel like they're on fire. And uh, it just gets so much blood in there that it's just a good way to finish the workout. I'm Branch Warren, IFBB Pro Bodybuilder and Team Muscle Tech Athlete, training to defend my 2012 Arnold Classic title. I'll see you at the Arnold. And for more content like this, check out bodybuilding.com.